Hey guys, good afternoon. Nicole is back and she is ready for her pride nails and I am more than happy to give them to her. So let's start with a full set. We're going to go ahead and glue on all the tips and she wants kind of like a longer almondy shape, if you will. So I'm going to use my clippers to get the shape started. That way there's less filing. And this is a challenging shape, making sure to get all the nails the same length, the same size, the same you know, just the same look. It's a very challenging shape for me. So, but I pulled it off. Sorry for all the noise in the background. I'm sitting outside. There's a lot of shit going on out here today. I don't know what's happening, but who cares? We're doing nails, right? And I'm going to do this voiceover and you're going to listen to me. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cleanse the hydrate. We're going to blend that tip. We're going to push the cuticles back. And then we're going to get our fresh liquid, our powder, my size 12 brush, tap, tap, I'm gonna get a nice size bead. We're gonna start with the pinky and then I'll move on to the ring finger and then the middle finger and the index finger and the thumb because that's how you do nails. One finger at a time, go figure. So we're gonna do that longer bead I've been practicing on. I did the one bead on this one. It came out pretty good. So I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and flush at the cuticle, clean down the sidewalls, straight down to the free edge and I'll just wipe off any excess that doesn't need to be there and I'll wipe it on my paper towel. So we'll just keep continue to do that. And now that that's all done, we're going to go ahead and pick all our colors for our pride rainbow. And we're going to do wavy lines. So, of course, I'm going to start off with the base of Mademoiselle because that's how I roll. And, of course, I'm going to put all the colors on my table. And with my number two Sakura striper brush, I'm going to do one line at a time and cure it. And then come back and do the second one and third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Because I don't want the colors to run together. And since I started with the end color of the flag or the beginning color, whatever, I couldn't go on both sides like I was telling you yesterday. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one color at a time until it's all complete. And this is pretty easy. Like these are the wavy lines. Like you don't really have to have a steady hand for this. You don't have to go in any certain direction. Just put them wherever you want. Make them your own look. Um, they don't have to be uniform and be the same on every finger. You can totally do them different. And then we're going to do, well, actually, Nicole chose um, the matte top coat, which I always think looks really good on these lines. So happy pride, and here's the final look. <laughs> 